Donald Trump has left Mobile. He just finished speaking to a large crowd at Ladd People Stadium. We did our own calculation and estimated about 18,000 supporters were there. That's about half of what Trump predicted. As you know, News 5 provided live team coverage of the event. Now we have a wrap up of what has proved to be a great night for Trump's presidential campaign. We begin with News 5's Bill Riles. He has a look at the big picture here. Bill? Yeah, well, Roseanne, what a night it was. And I tell you what, say what you will about Donald Trump, whether you love him, hate him, or somewhere in the middle. But the man knows how to draw a crowd, and he knows how to make an entrance. Before he even walked into Lad People Stadium, Donald Trump's massive and unmistakable jet took a couple of turns around the stadium before he landed in the city. And when he arrived, the crowd, which had slowly gathered all day, was ready. I just like to hear him talk right now. He talks a good game. Yeah, you think he'll get elected? I think he has a good chance. And he has the answers. Is he, you sure he's not just saying what you want to hear so you'll get his vote? Not Trump. No. Not Trump? No. You believe him? Word. And Trump touched on all the issues he's been hammering on throughout his short campaign, especially that illegal immigration issue that caused him some controversy early on. He even introduced Alabama Senator Jeff Sessions, who Trump says helped with his immigration policy. One sign holder was hoping their association might turn into something more. The people who showed up were a lively bunch. Trump may not have filled up Lad People Stadium, but he did get a pretty respectable crowd. But not everybody here says they are completely sold on Donald Trump as president. I think he's here to tell me more about him, but I'm, I'm here to find out. Still, the topics Trump wants to talk about are the ones people seem to want to hear about. Uh, the, the immigration issue, the, the sh negotiating the trade deal, the, the education, uh, to, uh, strengthening our troops, everything. And, of course, the issue remains, you know, he drew a large crowd. Donald Trump has a lot of momentum, but it's very, very early in his campaign. Can he sustain that for the next 14 months in the run-up of the Republican nomination? We shall see. Reporting live from Lad People Stadium, Bill Riles, News 5. Thank you, Bill. Donald Trump talked to the crowd there at Lad Peebles for just under an hour tonight. His message consistent with what he's been saying in other cities. With Mobile for Trump signs waving and the tune of Sweet Home Alabama playing, Donald Trump took to the stage. He drew a crowd of roughly 18,000 people despite the threat of rain. We're going to talk. We're going to have a lot of fun. You know, the weather's a little dicey. That's okay. But who cares if it rains, right? Two minutes into his speech, he started with a topic that has garnered him a lot of criticism and support, illegal immigration. So many people have been so badly hurt. The other day in California last week, a woman, 66 years old, a veteran, was killed, raped, sodomized, tortured, and killed by an illegal immigrant. We have to do it. We have to do something. We have to do something. The Donald praised one politician for his stance on illegal immigration. He's been so spot on. He's so highly respected. Has anybody ever heard of Senator Jeff Sessions? He welcomed Senator Sessions to the stage, and Sessions showed him support. The American people, these people, want somebody in the presidency that stands up for them. of this country. Uh, we welcome you here. Thank you for the work you put into the immigration issue. I'm really impressed with your plan. I know it will make a difference. And this crowd shows a lot of people agree with that. In true Trump form, the Donald criticized his opponents. Florida, I love Florida. It's a great place, right? Great. But Florida, we have a governor and we have a sitting senator. And I'm killing them. Let's explain that. Obviously, they're not doing a very good job. And he took a jab at the media. The press, which is, by the way, 
largely very dishonest, I have to say this. The political media. Trump talked about how his business connections and wealth will make him a good president and promised to beef up our military. I am going to make this country bigger and stronger and better, and you're going to love it, and you're going to love your president, and we're going to turn this place around, and you're going to be so proud. Trump also said if he could, he'd like to hold the election tomorrow. Again, thousands gathered in Lad People Stadium tonight. Folks started lining up early this morning and waited all day in the heat and rain to hear what Trump can do for America. News 5's Alan Carter talked with some of those people this evening. Well, it wasn't the 40,000 that they were hoping for, but nonetheless, a very enthusiastic crowd who waited for hours and in the end said they got exactly what they came for. They came from across the country. I flew out yesterday. I flew all day yesterday. Atlanta, Georgia, and Gulfport. And waited in line for hours until those gates finally opened. Okay. Lon's over here, guys. Hey, guys. How y'all doing? I lived in New York for 50 years. Great guy. Keeps his word, and he loves America. Only for more waiting. Ready. Until this moment. A greeting that surpasses a politician. One typically reserved for true celebrity. Oh, man, that was great. That was awesome. This is a part of history for Mobile and for our country, so we're so glad to be here and, and be a part of it. It seems like most people in the crowd already had their minds made up. He's not a politician. He's a man of people. But they hung on his every word. By we have to do We have to do something. I think it's great. It's what this country needs. And left this stadium more pumped than when they came in. That was fantastic. Trump for president. But I just want to see what he had to say, I, I'll see what all the hype is about. Um, but I, I thought he speaks plain language to Americans. It's everything he said I agreed with, and that ain't happened very much with the, with the president. <laughs> Well, as you heard, Trump got out of here pretty quickly, but he'll be back in the South soon with trips next week scheduled in South Carolina and Nashville. Reporting live at Lad People Stadium, Alan Carter, News 5. Thank you, Alan. After the speech, Donald Trump was supposed to hold a news conference with local and national media. He decided not to do that. Our cameras were still rolling as he was leaving the stadium. Then about 15 minutes later, News 5's Jacqueline Quinn caught up with the Donald at Brooklyn Aeroplex right before he boarded his private jet. Jackie asked him who he would pick as vice president if he won the White House. He said it's too early to tell, but praised the people of Alabama and News 5. Far too early. We have to take it first. We're going to bring the country back far too early, but uh, this was an amazing group of people tonight. What did you think of your visit, Mr. Trump? It was great. What a great crowd. Mr. Trump, that was such an amazing crowd. I love the area. I love the people. The people are incredible. It's a great station. You covered me nicely tonight. Thank you very much. With the big event over, we thought it would be appropriate to get some political analysis, so we turned to Jonathan Gray, who handles our political and issue-based polling. He conducted our poll two weeks ago that showed him with the big lead over all other Republican presidential hopefuls, and he spoke with our Peter Albrecht. Well, the estimated crowd of about 18,000 here at LAD tonight enjoyed, no doubt, what Donald Trump had to say. John Gray joins me now from Strategy Research, and John, if an English teacher would probably flunk Mr. Trump. It went all over the place, bounced around, didn't seem to be organized, didn't seem to matter to the crowd. They enjoyed no, it. No, no, this this is a hometown crowd for Donald Trump tonight. There's no question. And I mean, when he was talking about immigration, right down here on the field, I could hear people chanting, send them home, send them home. This was a hometown crowd for Donald Trump. Yeah, the immigration certainly uh, hit big, no doubt. He managed to kind of insult a number of our top U.S. allies. I mean, Germany, Japan, South Korea, Saudi Arabia, crowd didn't seem to mind. No, they didn't, Pete, but what he's trying to tell people is we've got to get tough. We've got to start demanding respect. But if you notice at the end of the speech, he leaves the door open to come back and say, these people are going to love us when we're done. And I think what he's trying to tell people is if you're tough, you negotiate hard, you're going to earn their respect, and they're going to love you in return. That's an important message if he carries it through. Jeff Sessions. 
went up on stage. There was talk before this whole thing. Maybe he's a vice presidential partner for Donald Trump. If he gets the nomination, what do you think after tonight? Well, there were a lot of signs out there, and I mean, you heard this crowd. I mean, Jeff Sessions doesn't need anywhere other than Alabama to get a support going for him, but tonight, that was interesting, and did you notice the hat that he put on when he got up on the podium? He put on a Trump hat. I think there's more to come out of this. I don't think this is a, a one-night day. All right, a very interesting night here at Ladd Stadium, no doubt. John Gray, thanks very much. Mel and Roseanne, back to you. Thank you, Peter. As you just saw, another major part of this event tonight was the media. Trump's rally has certainly put Mobile on the map. It gained national attention from some big news outlets. For that part of the story, we turn to News 5's Ashley Knight. And Ashley, I understand it was a bit of a media circus out there tonight. It was, as Peter said, it was quite a night out here. Definitely memorable for Trump fans. And as you can see behind me, they're disassembling the stage and the platform that our news cameras were actually standing on top of. And like I said, it was an interesting night for those in front of as well as behind the cameras. Cameras were up and running early in the day, preparing for one of the biggest events to hit Mobile. Setting up on a platform near the 40-yard line, video and still cameras were set on risers. Folks not only from Montgomery and Birmingham news stations, but CNN, Fox News, and MSNBC. And not just cameras, there was a whole row dedicated to print media and bloggers lining up in front of the risers. Then, the big moment, and all cameras were focused on one man. You don't walk over the border for one day and all of a sudden we have another American citizen. It doesn't work that way. Cameras snapping, lights shining. It was a big moment for those behind the cameras as well. Then, after the whole commotion, media dashed back to the room where Donald Trump was supposed to give a press conference. But we got word Trump had left the building. The only moment the entire night that the cameras sat still. Now, folks traveling with Trump say that since his uh, speech was carried by so many media outlets live, he may have felt that there was nothing more to add. Live at Lad People Stadium, Ashley Knight, News 5. Thank you, Ashley. And you can catch Donald Trump again Sunday morning on Face the Nation. That's right here on WKRG beginning at 930.